a friend of mine in New Zealand is into street art. I thought he meant graffiti. But then I realized he meant any type of art. Well, my hitty, my, my hitty, my hitty be the fitty. No, my, my city actually has uh, a lot of street art. So let's go see it. By the way, that's Bellflower City Hall right there. Bellflower, California. And I was really surprised when I saw the first piece of art come to Bellflower. It wasn't really what I expected. But all of a sudden, one day, it was there. And there it was. Just driving down the street. <laughs> and it made me wonder. Who drew on this box? And then I realized this must be a city thing. And it was. And then I realized it was right next to the comic shop. And it was a city venture. Pretty soon, all around our city, I started finding little art installations just popping up everywhere. And I became a fan. I love city art. And I love Bellflower City Art. Now when I became a huge fan is when they put in this fountain. But it's not this fountain that draws me to this place. It's what's beyond the fountain. And it's best signified by the next piece of art I'm going to show you. Look at the size of that thing. It's the whole side of the wall. And at the first, when I first came here, I was with my dog. And my dog kind of lost his bearing and he walked up to this dog right here and started to sniff at it and then realized, oh, it's a flat wall. But the depth is just so awesome. And right when you think that you're looking at a building and a cat and a ladder, Isn't that amazing? And what's amazing is that the mural came with this wonderful Port of Bellflower Pirate Park. Isn't this cool? We've got our own Pirate Park here. This just adds to the fun of art and takes art to the fourth dimension. Aye, we got the pirate park. So, we have this beautiful wall here to go with our pirate park. And now the city has gone into an almost crazy out of control. You see, Bellflower used to be a cow town settled by Dutch farmers. So we had plenty of farms, agriculture, and plenty of apples, I guess. I guess at one time, Bellflower had this apple. Now, if it's anything like the apple that was in my front yard that I, that the bees killed, big carpenter bees killed it. But, uh, the apples were kind of scrawny and they were kind of crab apple-y, didn't taste right. We had to let the tree die. But the legend of the Bellflower apple is still going. Now, I don't know any apple trees in Bellflower. I don't even think the city has planted an apple tree in Bellflower. But they still got those Bellflower apples. Must have been a heck of an apple. Now this is one of the most recent uh, pieces of art they put up that's not weathering too well. Yeah, I have to admit when I saw that one I thought, oh that's pretty cheesy. And then they built this building behind it. Actually, they didn't build it. I don't know who built it and I don't know what the story is about this building behind it. 
But it's, I do know that there are some lease stores here and some apartments above it. But check out the tiled art they put into it. It's really amazing. And though we need more businesses in Bellflower, and all of this is part of a redevelopment, we can't seem to get a lot of them in. So they're trying to use artwork to make the city a little bit more busy. Which, uh, you could tell the artist loves little dogs and bagels. Can I get it? I want a bagel. Ah, oh, rats. What do I do for a bagel? myself a bagel. I need a bagel. Well, there's a bagel. No, that's not Randy's bagels or Randy's donuts. That's Bellflower bagels. And I think that's one of the sweet things about Bellflower or garlicky or onion or sesame seeds or multigrain. You know, I know they're talking about our city, but it's just is not us. It's a nice idea and everything, but we don't have any apple trees. Although I am going to plant one this year. Not a belt bluer. I don't even think there is a variety called belt bluer. I think a bunch of cow towners just had the idea that they had it to be something special. So they took belt flower and gave it a belt blue. So funny. But Bellflower is trying to casually subvert people to be accepting of our city, to, to come here and bring their business, bring their families. <laughs> but they do it in the most oddest ways. I mean, yeah, artwork's good, but it becomes political propaganda. We don't grow apples. So Bellflower's tried to use art to, in the revitalization of Bellflower, to make it more comfortable for people to bring their families and their business. However, I just don't understand how you do that by promoting an apple we don't have. So, if you're comparing apples with oranges, I think that's what I'm doing, or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. I, I just know that when they do put it here, you know, um, the vandals kind of come and scratch it up, and they don't appreciate it. This is all done by an artist, and this town center plaque kind of was here to tell the memory of the artist, and they let the artist put their own. Put their art, let the artists put their own uh, self-portrait up here, which is really cool. Until somebody comes along and just has no respect. Doesn't that suck? But of course, they don't respect it because it's not real for them. Yeah, it's not quite as cool as some cities. Of course, humans, we could do better. We could always do better. Make it a nicer place for people, but I don't know. Not everybody likes that stuff. So anyways, from Bellflower, where I shared my art, be good humans. Peace out. As always, I'll be back.